I've been getting some messages from a few people that are talking about having tight wrists and if there's any drills or exercises that I can give them to help open up, loosen these things up and gain some flexibility. And I have just that in today's video. We're gonna be not only going over some exercises, some drills with our collie sticks, that are going to help improve your flexibility, but they're also gonna to help to improve your strength in your wrists and at the same time, your grip. An extra benefit that is absolutely essential to your collie practice. Let's go. All right, my friend, let's loosen up these stiff wrists. We're gonna grab our collie stick and we're gonna grip the stick about one fist length up. And that's gonna give us good leverage so we can get some good rotation with the wrist. Now from here, we're gonna hold our hands almost like a, like a boxer is gonna hold their hands. So we're gonna keep the elbow nice and close to the body and our hand is gonna be about shoulder height right here. And then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep my grip closed. I'm not gripping this thing with a death grip, but I'm not opening my hand either. I'm keeping my hand you know, pretty closed, keeping the stick you know, a secure grip so the stick doesn't fly out of my hand. But from right here, we have this little triangle here from hand, shoulder, and elbow. Everything's close. And we're just gonna rotate our stick forward. And you're gonna see that the stick is rotating to the outside of my arm here, the outside of my body right here. And we're just gonna rotate this thing forward. Now you can see how I'm not opening my hand not doing this, okay, none of that. I'm not white knuckling it, just a nice grip so it doesn't come out of the hand, and rotations. Now, when we're starting this off, you wanna start slow. And over time, you wanna build up your speed. This is a nice dynamic stretch, dynamic movement for the wrists. And this is gonna really improve that flexibility over time. It's gonna take some time. This isn't gonna happen necessarily overnight. Over the course of weeks, maybe even a couple of months, you'll start noticing some flexibility gains in your wrists. But you'll also notice because we're holding on to the stick that you're getting strength in the wrist and your grip is getting stronger, which has a parallel to Longevity, grip strength. Okay, well, once you do about 50 repetitions on your right hand, then we're gonna switch it and do another 50 reps on our left hand. And you wanna do at least two to three sets, even up to four sets if you're feeling good, but don't overdo it because we don't wanna strain the wrist either. So we wanna make sure that there's a little bit of rest time if this is new, that uh, maybe do this pretty intensively one day and then rest another day or even two days. So you just wanna do this intensively for about maybe two, three times a week. But you can do a little bit of this for every warm up right before your training sessions. Next exercise is our forward and back rotations. So this time we're gonna work a little bit of the chest and the back and the shoulder. And we're gonna start from our chamber position just like this. So I'm trying to get my stick to touch my upper back, touch the spine right there, right in between of my shoulder blades, if you can get that. If you can't get that, because maybe you got some tightness in the shoulder or something like that, then just get as close as you can to that. Left hand, we're gonna keep this right here at the plexus, at the heart. And then I'm gonna do one rotation forward. And then I'm gonna do one rotation back all the way to that chamber position. So forward and back. Forward and back. Again, keeping the hand closed. I'm not opening up my hand here. And you're also gonna notice that I'm stopping the tip of the weapon right in line with my eyes and the bridge of my nose right here. 
and then rotate back. We're not going all the way down like this where you're gonna end up cracking yourself in the shin, but because you're also losing that tension in the wrist that you need to develop that flexibility. Okay, so we're gonna keep it up right in front of the face here, chamber to the center, back to chamber. So forward and back. Okay, and just start slow again. And over time, you can work on snapping it out, snapping it back and working on that speed. Another one that you can add kind of as a little extra is instead of going back to your number one chamber, you could also pull this over to your number two chamber. So that's just gonna work the wrist a little bit differently because the momentum on the stick's gonna be differently, uh, a little bit different. And you're also gonna be working that shoulder a little bit different as well. So you get a little extra bonus right there. So you can kind of bounce this back from chamber one to chamber two. Keep that grip. And again, you want to hit about 20 to 30 reps minimum on this one. Again, at least two to three sets. If you have a fourth set in you, that's great too. You can always do that. And then switch hands and work the other side as well. And of course you can play around with working it on both chamber positions. You can also do double stick variations of these exact same drills. Just go into your forward rotations. And that way you're kind of working both hands at the same time, especially if you're short on time. <laughs> but we can also get a little bit of coordination in here where we can stagger it. All right, so while one is up on top, then the other stick is down at the bottom of the rotation. Or you can work them together, right? or you can stagger them. And of course, you can work that forward and back rotation on the double sticks. But you probably won't be going to your two chamber like you can on that single weapon. You'll just work on the one chambers. But again, you can do this simultaneously. You can do it one at a time where you're alternating, or you can do what's called the in and out. So up to this point, we've worked on the vertical motions in the wrist, which is really important for developing stabilization in the weapon. So let's go ahead and start working on our horizontal rotations. So we're going to work some of our wetiques or our abanicos. We're going to start off with the right hand on top. We're going to bring them out and bring them in. And just keeping it low here. And you're going to see how I can start working in the elbow to generate a little bit more momentum where you're going to get more stretch on the outside. Now, of course, you can switch it and have your left hand on top. And once you have that, then you can switch right hand, left hand. Just start off with one hand on top first, get that coordination down. And then you can always start working on your switching. So this last drill is gonna be focusing on our wrist extension and our wrist flexion. And we're not gonna be using the sticks, we're gonna be using the ground for this one. So we're gonna bring the palms of our hands down onto the ground, just like this. And then we're gonna change the direction of our fingers and just gently press or knead our hands into the ground. We call this kneading the wrists. And we're just going to change the direction of our fingers in all different directions here. And when our palm is down against the ground, we're working on the wrist extension. And the more that you kind of lean back into your hips, you can really drive a little bit more into your wrists. 
And once we do about 15 repetitions of this or so, or maybe you went for about 30 to 45 seconds, then we're just gonna flip over to palm up and we're gonna work on the wrist flexion. Again, pressing the back of the hand into the ground, trying to keep the elbows straight so that we really just focus all of that energy and stretch into the, um, into the wrist, into the flexion of the wrist. Okay. And then you can also kind of play around, maybe do a third set where you alternate between extension and flexion. All right, there you have it. A few drills that are gonna to help to improve your wrist flexibility, but you're also gonna gain strength in your wrists and also in your grips, which is all very, very important, vital attributes for your Kali practice and as you're you know, advancing in your skills. Having flexible wrists, strong wrists, and a strong grip is gonna really help to enhance your striking mechanics and it's gonna to help to stabilize your weapon when you make impact, whether you're making impact you know, to an opponent or if you have to make impact, you know, contact to their weapon to protect yourself. You wanna make sure that you have good structural integrity in your wrist so you don't have any collapsing back of your weapon or anything like that or casting out on your strikes or anything like that. If you like this video and these exercises have been helping you in your Kali practice, with loosening up those wrists. Hit the thumbs up button. Let me know about your experience down in the comments. If you're new to Kali Center, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell. Helps out the channel very, very much when you guys are engaging with me here on the channel. If you want to take your Kali training to the next level, I highly recommend heading over to KaliCenter.com and checking out our online school. We have our on-demand video library ready for you, lots of training there. And depending on which tier that works best for you, you can also jump into our monthly live stream classes. We do two live stream classes every month and you also get the playbacks so that you can review the lessons. And at our top tier, you can also get some one-on-one -on -one video coaching so we can really tailor a specific training program to your needs. All right. Keep training, keep having fun, and I'll see you back here next time.